My name is Christopher Wittich. I'm a general internist here at the Mayo Clinic. Coming out soon in the Mayo Clinic proceedings will be a new article that we have written called 10 Questions and Answers About Off-Label Drug Use. We have all heard about off-label drug use. We've heard it in, in continuing medical education courses, in the medical literature, and even the news recently. The reason it's been in the media recently is because several pharmaceutical uh, manufacturers have been given fines for alleged off-label marketing of their medications. Many have an underappreciation or maybe even are a little bit confused about what off-label prescribing is. We have published an article in the proceedings to hopefully help clarify some of these points. So the definition of off-label drug use is prescribing a medication for a reason that was not originally approved by the FDA. This could be for an indication that wasn't approved, it could be for a dosage form that wasn't approved, or even in a patient population. So off-label drug use is very common. It occurs in every medical specialty, but may be more common in certain specialties that have patient populations that aren't always included in clinical trials. This could include pediatrics, pregnant women, or psychiatric illnesses. Some common examples of off-label drug use include morphine in children. Morphine has ever, never actually been given FDA approval for, for use in children, yet it is routinely done and prescribed in an off-label way. Another example are the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors that are approved for depression. Many times they're also used for pathological gambling, things like borderline personality, personality disorder, or stuttering. Another example is beta blockers in migraine prophylaxis. Beta blockers have never been given the indication for use of, as a migraine prophylactic agent, yet it has become routine care. So we recommend that healthcare professionals educate themselves about off-label drug use. Our article provides 10 common questions and answers about off-label prescribing, including the definition of off-label drug use, examples, areas of marketing, and ways to decrease liability. So the ultimate recommendation is become better informed about off-label prescribing to provide safe care for your patients. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.